place, the economic report and what anyone is saying about a place has never been the deciding factor or the regulator of the blessings of God upon his children. Expecting a breakthrough, they will have a dream at night. Mm -hmm. And that dream of the night will pollute the breakthrough in the day. They want to go for a job interview, they want to meet a helper. There would always be a dream. And so long they've seen that dream, that helper will not manifest. Yes, yes, Strange sir. fire. Is somebody with me at all here? Yeah. There are people whose marital destiny has been, has been imprisoned. Every time somebody serious comes, as the thing is getting matured, something will always happen to take them back to square one. They have had so many square ones. And when they look at their life, they can't understand why is this one not working. Strange fire. go from place to place there are personalities that follow them it's called impersonating spirit follows them from place to place to monitor their good news so before the good news manifests it is punctured it is the testimony of a strange fire there are people whose faces have been covered helpers don't see you when you appear something else they see there are marriages where the wife's face has been covered. Every time the husband sees her, it's something else he sees. There are marriages where even the husband's face has been covered. Every time the wife is looking at husband, it's something else she's seeing. So honor is no more there. Affection is no more there. Why? It is the testimony of a strange fire to see abnormal things happen to normal people. I pray for you today. As you say loud, amen. Every strange fire this month of July, it is over forever. It is over forever. It is over forever. It is over forever. Can I catch a loud amen there? The Bible says, and these guys executed a strange fire. Strange. So we need to look at this very well. What must I do to frustrate strange fires? It's important. I believe there was, there was something, there was a platform upon which that strange fire was frustrated. Because it's important though. When you, you study scriptures, you discover something just happens. Sometimes we say, and God just, no, check well. There was something God saw that made him do something. I'll show you. Um, Leviticus chapter 10. Let's get back there. I'm going to read verse 1 and 2. Bible says, And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them censers and put fire therein, and put incense thereon and offer strange fire where? Before the Lord, which he commanded them not. Verse 2, please. And there went out fire from where? And devoured them, and they died before. So, which means the place they were executing the fire was the temple of the Lord. So, how do I frustrate strange fire? I must live as a temple of the Lord. 
You must live as a temple. Look at this now. Catch this revelation. Look at me. Catch this. God was not just angry at the action. He was angry at the location. Are you, are, you, are you guessing it now? He was not just angry at the action. His anger was also about... Listen, God is not angry when witches are messing up with unbelievers. But where God becomes jealous is when you taught his temple. He says, surely they shall gather. I'm not bothered. But whosoever shall gather concerning you so, my problem now is the action and the location. If these guys were executing fire somewhere else, God wouldn't have been bothered. Yes, sir. But God's anger, you are doing this to my temple. So, how do I become a, 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 a mobile um? Is it, for the lack of a better word, frustrator of strange fire, I have to live as the temple of the Lord. And this is more than coming to church Sunday to Sunday. You must live as a temple. Uh, you get it now? Everything that happens in the temple must happen in your life. Is it making sense now? Okay, I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Everything that happens in the temple must happen in your life. Do you know we pray in the temple? We read the Bible in the temple? Everything that takes place in the temple must happen in a mobile temple. Are you getting it now? So God's anger was not just the action. You see, when you live as God's temple, your rest, your protection is God's responsibility. God has a commitment to defending his temple. Hey, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9. He said, there remained a rest. To the people, to the temple of God. Psalms 105, 13 to 15. As they journeyed from country to country, from people to people, kingdom to kingdom, he suffered no man to do them harm. Reproving kings for their sake, saying, touch not my temple, and do my temple no harm. So when you become his temple, God is responsible for your defense. Is, is somebody getting me now? When, when they hit your car, is it your car that fights? You as the owner has to reply. So when you become his temple, anyone that executes a strange fire, a fire comes out from God and replies them for you. This month of July, by the Spirit of God, every strange hand that has been pointed against you, it shall be swallowed by fire. Every strange altar that has been speaking against you, it shall be swallowed by fire. Can someone shout, Amen? Cars don't fight for themselves. It is the owner that fights. When this revelation hits you, when it hits you, you would know that let me do my part. God can do his own. Did you observe? While they were doing the strange fire in the temple, the temple didn't fight. The owner of the temple did the fighting. Are you, are you catching something here now? All you need to do to put an end to these ugly things you are going through, you need to catch the revelation. What does it mean to be the temple of the Lord? You must live with a consciousness. 
don't just be a Christian by name. Don't just be one of those that increase the attendance. There are people like that in church. That's all they are. They increase the population. But they have no commitment to their maker. They can come to church quietly. No involvement. No dedication. No contract with God. No excitement about service. Move beyond being an executive Christian. Become a temple. Is somebody saying, you're you, you me at all there? Become Istanbul. Become Istanbul. You see, Pastor, no matter how stubborn a person is, you can't be too stubborn to touch a hot object. No. Stubborn, stubbornness has... The reason things are touching you, cold. When you are cold, anything touch you. Sickness touch you. Delay touch you. Reproach touch you. Rejection touch you. You are cold. How do I put an end to this shame and mockery? Become a temple. Let even the devil testify. Listen, it's not every assignment which is good for all. Huh? No, it's not every assignment. There are places they go, they lose their witchcraft license. No, they don't, they don't go everywhere. And the devil gave them something to go and drop on one fire, brother. On their way, they remember that brother's prayer. They say, Which other brother in that church does not pray? Which other sister in that church? Do- oh, they go to that person's house. Because, listen, just the way Isaiah 55 verse 11, he said, my word will not return to me void. The devil also works that principle. Yeah. The sickness will not return to him back. So it has to rest on someone that is cold. for perfect people. He is also not looking for hypocrites. Am I making sense now? Yes, sir. No, but listen, when we preach like this, we are not saying come perfect. No. The church is a hospital. It's not meant for healed and perfect people. It's meant for the sick. Those who are imperfect, that need God to fix them. But how can a doctor help you when you hide your injury? Huh? How can a doctor treat you? When you've covered your, your bruises. Uh, so God is not looking for perfect people. He's also, he's also angry at hypocrites. Yes, sir. Let's stop playing games with this God. Let's stop lying before this God that can kill us. Something big happens every Tuesday evening in Johannesburg, South Africa. It is insights for exploits empowerment service with Dr. Sule Emanuel. God is a committed father. God does not have to leave his children in the hands of some earthly governmental structure to determine their prosperity. He's a responsible father. The greater the destiny, the bigger the battles. Small people don't fight big battles. Regular people don't have major devils. In case you be worried about your size, look at your battle. Your battle speaks of your size. Join the fruitful people of Mega Fire Ministry Johannesburg and Dr. Sule Emmanuel every Tuesday by 5.30 p.m. It is always a memorable experience. Venue, Omega Fire Ministry Johannesburg, the fruitful place. Number one, Hardy Street. Corner Cornelia Street by Von Villach Marshall Town, Johannesburg, CBD, South Africa. Time again is 5.30 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. For more information, please call 011 044 
4888 Omega 5 Ministry Johannesburg A home to a great people Experiencing the miraculous And growing in a deeper relationship With Jesus Christ every day We A name that was on it. It was going somewhere. But at the time it was going, that brother was in tongues. The time it was going, that brother was in service. And the demon says, I can't take this back. It has to rest on someone that is cold. But in this encounter today, everything on your life, everything abnormal on your destiny, it shall be rolled away permanently. It shall be rolled away permanently. It shall be rolled away permanently. Can I get a loud amen there? Please sit down. You see, quickly now, we're going to break it down. What does it mean to live as a temple? Number one, leave Egypt completely. Come out of Egypt totally. You cannot be partially born again, sir. Either you are for the devil or you are for God. Leave Egypt completely. Stop living a life that is wrong. You know it is wrong. You are trying to convince yourself that it is right. Oh, oh that, that, that happens every time. You are doing something that is wrong. Even the devil that inspired you know it is wrong. Am I making sense now? But you are trying to convince yourself and convince others that it is right. Leave Egypt completely. Until God owns you, God does not owe you. Can't be expecting God to defend you when he, he, he's not, he's, he doesn't own you. Until he owns you completely, he owes you nothing. Am I making sense here? God said, I cannot defend what I don't own. Listen, I'd like you to understand the revelation behind this now. God does not share 
with people. He either owns you or he has rejected you. He doesn't share. So you cannot... Oh, God. Uh, um, you know what it means to be a vessel? I need to break this down now. When we say something is a vessel of oil, that means you don't put petrol in it. Right? Yes, sir. When we say something is a vessel for water, you don't put oil in it. So, when we say you are a vessel of God, you are 100% for God. Everybody that comes in contact with you knows that this one is a God property. Please sit, guys. Uh, until God owns you, God does not owe you nothing. Owes you nothing. <laughs> mm. Brothers and sisters, let's come to a point where we stop playing games with this Christianity. Let's stop these games. I've said it several times. Uh, there, there are three people you cannot lie to. You can't deceive them. You can't deceive God. He knows you. You can't deceive the devil. He knows you. You can't deceive yourself. You know yourself. You know. Let's stop playing games. Huh? Listen. God is not looking for perfect people. He is also not looking for hypocrites. Am I making sense now? Yes, sir. No, but listen, when we preach like this, we are not saying come perfect. No. The church is a hospital. It's not meant for healed and perfect people. It's meant for the sick. Those who are imperfect that need God to fix them. But how can a doctor help you when you hide your injury? Huh? How can a doctor treat you when you've covered your, your bruises? Uh, so God is not looking for perfect people. He's also, he's also angry at hypocrites. Yes, sir. Let's stop playing games with this God. Let's stop lying before this God that can kill us. That's it. <laughs> Leave Egypt completely. You are either for God or for the day. Just stay one. Stay one. Stay one. So when you go to hell, you know why you got there? Am I making sense? Not that you are trying to. You see, you know why it is very, very bad when you are you are trying to serve God, but you are also holding the devil's property. You know why it's very bad? The devil is angry with you. God is angry with you. Are, are you are you getting it now? If uh, if you were not a believer. You are just with the devil. So, there's the mercy of God. Somehow, maybe somebody's interceding for you somewhere. God leads you, orchestrates a movement for someone to preach to you somehow. But now you are living a life. You are deceiving the devil. You are deceiving. So, there is a mutual anger. It's a network of anger. Are, are you getting me now? So, God is not defending you. Hey. Uh, even that guy is not also defending <laughs> So, I, I can't say that enough. Leave Egypt. I beg you. Let's stop playing religion. Let's, let's, listen. Uh, there comes a time where you sit down and tell yourself, I'm tired of this lie. Yes, and you, you just tell yourself this... I am, I am deceiving myself. I'm sinking. I'm tired. Nobody had to advise prodigal son. Uh, the guy sat down. <laughs> uh, he called his name. Uh, he said, Emmanuel. Then he answered himself, yes. <laughs> are, are you getting me now? Bible said, and he came to himself. Can I pray a prayer for you today? By this encounter, may you come to yourself. Hey, 
may you come to yourself if there be anything you are doing that God is not happy about may God open your eyes tonight if there be anything you are doing that is an avenue for the devil to limit your destiny may Jehovah open your eyes tonight may Jehovah open your eyes tonight can someone say amen don't forget what I said leave Egypt completely and you know why they, were, they perished in the wilderness? They didn't leave Egypt totally. Geographically, there was a movement. But mentally, they were still there. Many of us, we have changed location. But we've not changed practice. This is not an advice the world will tell you. If you reject the counsel of the church, where is your hope? If you get angry at the truth, where is your redemption? If a word like this does not make you retrace your step, don't you think you are in a pit already? Don't get too used to the counsel of God that when it comes, you can shake it off. So let him tell them. Let him tell them. You know why God will allow you... <laughs> To be a part of an encounter like this. So when judgment comes, it will, it will remind you of today. Yeah. See, I gave you another opportunity. My servant was not supposed to emphasize that point. I made him emphasize it for your sake. Tell your neighbor, leave Egypt completely. If they are not here anywhere, tell them where. Say, leave Egypt completely. Hey, tell them again, say, leave Egypt completely. Mm. Number two, your identity in God must be your reality in life. Your identity in God. Everybody should know you and God. Just like Daniel. There are those who hide their Christianity. They are ashamed to preach. You know, a major reason why many don't come for evangelism is shame. In the temple, we publicize God. A confirmation, you are a mobile temple. You give publicity to God. Is it making sense now? Don't forget what I said. I said everything that happens in the temple must happen through your life. Is somebody catching this at all here? So as a temple... You publicize, you give announcement to the word of God. Look at this now. When you come to church, everyone hearing me now. When you come to church, everything you hear in church as a temple, you look for how to circulate it. That's the temple. Are you getting me now? Every listen now. The truth is not just for documentation, it's for distribution. Yes, sir. So, everything you hear in church as a temple, you always look for medium to circulate it. church is broken down into three categories of people and somehow you are in one of them am i making sense now number one there are those who are the friends of the church they came because of a problem they are not member they are still looking it's a problem that brought them they, because of a need. When what they were looking for, they didn't get it in three weeks and three months, they go to another church. Those are friends of the church. Every time the pastor is preaching, all they are thinking of is miracle, 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 miracle. They are friends of the church. Once their case is not addressed, they say, after all, I know somewhere else. Number two, 
There are those who are religious Christians. They have been in church for years, but they've not encountered the true God. They know a lot about church. Those are the people that think church should be a democracy. Mm. So when the pastor makes a decision, they argue with it. They don't have the boldness to argue before him, so they argue in their own cliques. So how, can, how, can, how can a man of God be doing that? Why? They believe church should be democracy. Those are religious Christians. Those are believers. They may have, oh, but they do not give until they have a need. Mm. Mm. Am I making sense now? They are giving. It's always a transaction with God. There's something they are looking for. That's why they give. So, when the pastor is preaching about sacrifice, they say, all these pastors have started again. They're looking for money. Those are religious Christians. Something big happens every Tuesday evening in Johannesburg, South Africa. It is Insights for Exploits Empowerment Service with Dr. Smule Emanuel. God is a committed father. God does not have to leave his children in the hands of some earthly governmental structure to determine their prosperity. He's a responsible father. The greater the destiny, the bigger the battles. Small people don't fight big battles. Regular people don't have major devils. In case you may be worried about your size, look at your battle. Your battle speaks of your size. Join the fruitful people of Mega Fire Ministry Johannesburg and Dr. Sule Emmanuel every Tuesday by 5:30 p.m. It is always a memorable experience. Venue: Omega Fire Ministry Johannesburg, the fruitful place. Number one, Hardy Street. Corner Cornelia Street by Von Villach Marshall Town, Johannesburg, CBD, South Africa. Time again is 5.30 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. For more information, please call 011-044-4888. Omega Fire Ministry, Johannesburg. A home to a great people experiencing the miraculous and growing in a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ every day. We